There are nine ways to open a playlist in Spinatron, five ways to create a new playlist, and four ways to reopen an existing playlist. I'm Tom and I will guide you in the nine ways. The first way, create a playlist using the current and upcoming shows on the homepage. Click the document icon in the corner of one of these boxes and Spinatron fills the new playlist form using that show as a template. The nine ways all lead to this form, so let's run through it now. Playlist name. Category is one from a list set up by your station management. Date and time, the playlist starts. Duration, and the DJ. Name, category, start time, and duration are all copied over from the show. The start date will be set to today. DJ is you, but you can change that if needed. Extra info is hidden with this reveal triangle. If the schedule show has these values, they are copied into here. Episode name and description are unique to this playlist. Shows in the schedule don't have these fields. You can change or add to anything in this form now or later by reopening the playlist. Submit leads to the playlist entry page. So that's the first way. In the second way, I choose my show from the playlist menu. And I get to the same form. In the third way, I click New and I choose any of these shows from the list of shows. In the fourth way, I choose from the schedule. And the fifth way is the only way to create a playlist without using a show as a template. Create a blank playlist with this link and I get a mostly empty form. Now I will teach you the four ways to reopen an existing playlist. The first way is to use Resume in the Playlist menu. You'll only see this if you already opened a playlist during your Spinatron login session. Resume skips the playlist form and takes you straight to the worksheet. Great for popping out to other pages and back again. I can also reopen a playlist by choosing Browse from the Playlist menu and clicking the pencil icon in the list. As an admin, I can reopen and edit any playlist. Most users can only edit their own. The pencil icon brings me to the familiar form where, if needed, I can make any changes and proceed to the worksheet. I go back to Browse, and above the list of playlists is the calendar icon, and I can find my playlist and reopen it like this too. And finally, there's an Edit Playlist button on any playlist display page. And those are the nine ways to open a playlist. You don't need to use them all, but they're there for whoever needs them.